What's going on guys, Mitch here, and today we've got a package from the Big S that we're gonna get into and take a look at. So bear with me while I cut into this. I have been talking about this in the vlogs for uh, about two or three weeks now, so I think it's time that we take care of business. Any guesses? Any guesses? I'll give you a hint. It's not a cat or a dog. There we go. Should look familiar. Let's get rid of some of these boxes. Bada bing, bada boom. S-Works Power Mirror uh, 143, which is, I don't know, probably my favorite saddle in the entire universe. Um, I've got this on my SL7, I've got the Pro version on my Athos, and soon I'm going to have this on the SL8. So wanted to do a quick video talking about the saddle prior to install, but more than anything just show it as we always like to do on this channel. So let's crack it open and see what we got. So obviously this is how it comes in a box. Ooh la la. And it's cinched down. There we go. So. It's a shame that box isn't useful for anything else. It's such a good box. But as you can see, beautiful saddle, 3D printed, 143, which is the width for your sit bones typically. Um, there's, a, there's a measurement system that Specialized does in how to choose the saddle. Now this version has both the carbon fiber base to the saddle as well as the carbon rails. Now the rails here are oval so I think they're 7 by 9 or 7 by 10 something like that which just means ensure that the uh, the clamping system of your seat post will work with this um, because certain certain clamp systems won't basically so just be mindful of that. The little S is beautifully hidden in there which is always nice. Super comfortable saddle, man. Now there was some conversation as well around um, the webbing here and how I'm gonna be able to install this on the SL8. I'll probably do a video on that because I'm sure there's gonna be others who wanna know how to do that. But I can tell you right now that won't be a problem. Even if the bolts are down, top down, I can't remember what it is on the SL8, but that won't be an issue. So yeah, 3D printed, made, uh, I don't know where they're made. I'm guessing China, probably says right on it somewhere, but there's a little detail on the saddle itself. As well, something that I'm not utilizing, see these screw holes here? So that's, I believe they're like SWAT system where you can attach a bunch of stuff to the saddle rather than the seat post. And I'm considering maybe putting a Garmin attached to that. Because I know there's some bunch of different accessory mounts that allows for that. Oh, there you go. Hopefully you can read that compatible with specialized seat posts using seven by nine side clamps. So it's the top clamps that will not work. Or seven, seven mil top clamps, read the instructions carefully. 240 pound weight limit. So uh, depending on seasonality, I'll be brushing up against that, I'm sure. I'm just kidding, but maybe, you never know. And uh, otherwise, I've been using the saddle now for Oh boy, about three years, does it sound about right? And also I tried out the Ronin, which was great, but just preferred this more than anything. Um, haven't had any issues with it, haven't had any uh, bib related issues. A lot of people worry that uh, the 3D kind of texture will rub against your bibs and wear them out prematurely. I have not had any issues with that. I love the airing, the ventilation, everything about it. This is just my favorite all time saddle. They do make obviously the Power Pro, which is alloy railed version, same top, as well as they made an expert, expert version now, which I haven't seen in person, but I'm assuming that, uh, you know, pretty good. Um, I think it's like basically based around this, but the 3D printing is almost like compartmentalized or something. I, uh, I really don't know. I'd, lo I'd love to check one out, but uh, I'm just so happy with this that I, I don't, don't really have a need to. My whole thing with this is like, when you look at the price, 
a lot of people, like myself included, when I first got this saddle, I was so worried about the price because it is, I think they're, what, 500 bucks or 450 US, something like that. Um, it's a very expensive saddle. It is, it's uh, very expensive. But for me, my comfort on the bike was worth, you know, you're, you're spending two, three hundred dollars on bibs, jerseys, shoes, saddles, all this stuff, um, cleats, pedals, and, and you go, your contact points should be the ones you spend the most on, so your saddle, your shoes. And um, I haven't had any issues with it, it's just so, it, it, it's just, as soon as I got on it, because I had a power expert for a while, and as soon as I got on this saddle, it was like, oh man, this is special right away so i'm excited to get one of these back on the sl8 and uh you know feel like i'm at home again more than anything because that's what my uh exterior is used to so there we go that is the power mirror from s works or specialized 143 super lovely saddle and i cannot wait to get it mounted up you'll see it in the vlogs i'm sure i'll talk about it for like 19 weeks straight um etc so anyway guys that's the seat any questions leave them below and uh probably do a install video on this right now all right guys peace